friends i welcome all of you to this lecture series on non linear spaces non linear spaces as you know is the fundamental concept in function analysis in every branch of pure mathematics you have a set with a structure in group theory you have group structure in vector space you have vector structure in real analysis you have the real number system likewise in function analysis you have the non linear spaces non linear spaces is a wonderful mixture of vector space and metric space it has both vector space structure as well as metric space structure so this makes this non linear space quite interesting in this series of lectures we are going to see some of the basic properties of non linear spaces how they are classified and what are the properties that determine the, its classification one of the major classification is non linear spaces can be categorized into finite dimensional space and infinite dimensional space as you are going to see in finite dimensional space there is nothing much to study because it is isomorphic to r power n it is because the infinite dimensional space the study of non linear space gets more interesting here we are going to see all the concepts through the examples examples of spaces of sequences spaces of continuous functions and spaces of lebesgue integrable functions and also we are going to see how we are going to compare one non linear space with respect to another non linear space which has some relationship between this space so using a non linear space we are going to compare another non linear space using a concept called bounded linear functionals and we are also going to see the concept of dual spaces which leads to the another basic concept called reflexibility so these concepts form the basics of functional analysis i hope all of you will benefit from these lectures